I did fight a Lionel. I killed the Lionel. Yep, sure did. Come on, don't bullshit me. Fuck! <laughs> uh, jovial works. Thank you for the 34 months. Thank you very much. Have I have I played so much I hate it yet? No, dude. I'm having a great time. I've been having a really fun time with this game. Um. Hang on. About Polybridge 3, I am going to play Polybridge 3. Looking forward to it. Excuse me. standing there you go perfect brute forced what the hell are you doing i'm fixing this thing what do you mean what am i doing borderline artistic and a bomb thank you all right see you later i'd hire you if it works it works I wonder how many of those fuckers there are. How many of that how many of that guy is all standing around doing that shit? <laughs> Alright, well we got a beam pointing us to the sky. This is interesting. Oh, wasn't this guy from uh the last game too? He was, right? Uh, now I wonder, all right, uh, let's construct something here. See, this thing, I don't have any, I, don't, there's, I think there was wood nearby. Hang on. Any beetle sightings? Oh, a beetle, the beetle guy? Oh yeah, he's been, he's fucking all over the place. Yeah. He is everywhere. <laughs> I wonder what the most, so I made a really efficient vehicle, uh, for, I made a really, really good vehicle for, for driving. I wonder what the best thing you can make for flying is like the most efficient, like actually good thing for flying. A bird probably. Are there quests and stuff to do in this game? No, no, this game is just nothing. You don't do anything in this game. There's no quest, there's nothing. It's it's weird. Yes, there's fucking quests. What do you think you do in this game? Uh, I need a bigger, I'm gonna need a bigger platform, I think. No, you just, you don't do anything. You load in this game, you walk around, you don't do anything, it's weird. Terrible game, TBH. 
So I think uh, the flame. Uh, let's see. Where is wood? I'd like to find wood, please. Wood, please. God, I almost wish I could like type in wood. Stone, please. <laughs> okay, now. That should be fire. Now, would a steering wheel do me any good? Would a steering wheel help me here at all? The Zelda space program. You put a battery on this shit too. All right, we have, I have so many steering wheels now and we could fucking try it. Um, okay. Is there a limit in the inventory? If it, dude, if this... Give this people air. <laughs> it's burning everything. Does anything not burn? Can I use that rock? Everything's burning. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I think. How much time is wasted in this game doing stupid shit like this? Hang on. Everybody, everybody's Tears of the Kingdom playthroughs are going to take forever because we all spent this shit doing stupid shit like this. Okay, hang on. That should give me time to figure something out. Um... I don't want to use the, the floating platforms here are bad. I can use a cart. The carts are really valuable. I, I don't like doing that. Okay, let's put the... I think it broke. <laughs> Let him cook. That's an interesting design. Thank you. Yeah. 
No, shut the fuck up, chat. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Uh, the flame emitters, I feel like, are such shit. It's gonna take me if I wanted to get up here. It would bitch. take me like every fucking zone I charge. Like I, it would take me forever. <laughs> it's gonna take me forever. This is dumb as hell. No shit. I don't know what the. I, I am curious what the most efficient vehicle really is. To use rockets it's badass though at least it's not boring How high up do I have to go? <laughs> How high up do I have to go? Dude, but you know what's going to happen? Like the balloon's going to break before we get up there. <laughs> it is. nowhere thank you for the 30 months thank you very much really appreciate that all right <laughs> new plan new plan we're gonna need a new plan Did you fight the hardest Gliok first? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. You know, there's so many easier ways to do these things. <laughs> there really are. My first Gliok was King Gliok. This looks this looks like it's gonna work, right? Okay. And drop. 
Uh, did I, uh, I paid the bet, right? Battery. All right, here we go. You like I really I just now noticed that my fans are uneven. Am I gaining any height? <laughs> Slowly, like 10 feet a second. What is the best, what is the best flying vehicle in the game? That's, I really wanna know. Yeah, go fuck yourself. What, I wonder what is the best flying vehicle in the game? I wonder. Really curious. I already found a really, really good car. I have a really good car. Uh... Thank you again, Sailing to Nowhere. I'm getting my I'm getting my ass up there. One way or the other. I'm getting up there. I don't care what it takes. I'm getting my ass up there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I need the board, right? It's more rockets. I'm beginning to feel like I'm a wily e. coyote here. <laughs> Trying to feel like Wily e. Coyote. All right, I think we got this. Here's a limit. Not even close. It burns through those fucking batteries hella fast. We are climbing.
Let's ah! like yeet it, or do I? I guess I'm just gonna jump. Hey, pretty cool. Glad it made it in here. Is that the three-headed dragon from the first game? Yeah, the Gleox in this game are supposed to be like the dragons from the first Zelda game for sure. GG. No way it worked. Well, you know, when you're when you have my kind of intellect, these kinds of puzzles are very simple. That was cool. That was cool. It's really, uh, so I, I have 63 Koroks, uh, 50 something shrines, right? How tall is the ladder for my horse? Batman Jose, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Ooh, sure. Make more swords and stuff. Now go fight the Gleok. Man, I already fought Gleox. I already fought. I fought one today. I fought King Gleox yesterday. I'm kind of Gleoxed out at the moment. Do it. This crazy motherfucker actually did it. <laughs> I had to wily coyote my way up there, but I managed it. No balls. I fought King Gleox with like not even half as many hearts as I have right now. We mean no balls. You pet doggies, can you stable anything besides a horse? I don't care if you can pet dogs and I haven't tried to stable anything. Uh Moni, how did you like my uh how'd you like my emails, by the way? <laughs> Do it. I'm sure we'll fight more King Gleox. I'm sure we're gonna fight more Gleox. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it'll happen. Give this people uh, here. There's an arrow. What the hell is that arrow pointing to? Please let me know. I will go through them for you, no cost, so you so you can see all the raid shadow legends and fucking bullshit. You you want to read all my raid shadow legends offers? I'm good. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Wait, was there a crack? You guys saw? I will respond to every influencer and go fuck themselves. That? You think that's something? Chad, that's not gonna anything. I can't believe you're still streaming. What's up, God Only Joes? They can't. That's not anything. What do you think that is? Now, maybe it's like... I can see it maybe being up here. You know what would be really nice? The climbing gear. That would be really nice. Still going strong. No, th this chat, this is just the graphics. That's not, that's not a bobble wall. Now, I think it's in here. Yeah, there it is. Found it. Ah, uh, Moni, I've been really, yeah, this, this game has been super, super good. I think this game is so much better than Breath of the Wild. Um... Huh. Huh. 
Is it time to increase inventory? Uh, yeah, I'll get around to it at some point. my favorite temple so far fire fire was the best wind was really cool water was okay i wasn't crazy about the water temple it wasn't bad but uh the fire the fire temple was really good i thought i will say that i th i think i thought the water temple boss might have been my favorite but i'm not sure All right, let's go get this cringe. Be interesting if we actually learned anything about who Ganon is or what his deal is or what he wants or anything. That'd be kind of cool. My long is a tier four dungeon, dungeon, dungeons and a darkest dungeon character. Doesn't want to trifle over a level two Gliok. Sorry, I couldn't read there for a second. Uh, these are definitely inspired by Nazca lines for sure, right? They've got to be. Or how to read. Listen, you streamed for fucking 13 hours. You know how many hours I've streamed? Am I going to beat this soon? I'm in no rush because I'm trying to do, like, I, I'm really liking this game. I'm not in any fucking rush. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go for every fucking Korok or anything like that. Probably not, but uh, I would like to do as much as I can in the game, I think. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, six pizzas a week. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. How many are there? Koroks? I have no idea. If you're asking about shrines, I also have no idea. I don't want to know these things. I think there are five dungeons, but I am not sure. Uh, I think there's five. There could be more. There could be six. There could be less for some reason or other. No idea. Well, I'm trying to find the memory here. Uh, can we get a better look at it from up here? Since you've been to the game and you haven't even been to uh, been uh, been to yet, uh, there is a lot of the game I have yet to see. Yes, that is very true. Okay, I have an idea. I'd say that the bosses have much more character than they did in Breath of the Wild. They're uh, unique. They're not just like phantom game, like you know. Uh, Fire Blight Ganon and Wind Blight Ganon, they're like actually have more of an identity this time. Okay, I thought maybe it would be like underneath this. Okay, I don't know where this memory is actually. I don't know where it is. Yeah, the bosses are better. Now, I don't know if the bosses are incredible. Uh, like in terms of like a combat or something, but... Uh, they're better than they were in the previous game. The previous game, they were kind of a joke. So. Uh, I didn't see anything blinking, so fuck off. Eat my shit. I don't see shit. Oh, it's there. Oh, I think you might be right. Oh man, oh, it's there. I think, I think it is there. Yeah, I think it's here. 
We ain't found shit. No, we ain't found shit. I literally, I don't know where it is. It's obvious. I'm not fucking seeing it. I don't see it. Might be obvious. I'm not fucking seeing it. Obvious or not, I have to see it. I'm not seeing it. You son of a bitch. On this side? I do not see this fucker. I do not see this fucking thing. <laughs> I don't see it. I'm blind. Up, up, down, left. Oh, that's what it is. You got it. Uh, Dickle, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for the 42 months. Appreciate that. Are the boss in this game? Ah, uh, they like we we just I just got that answer to that question. They're a step up from Breath of the Wild. They're unique. They're cool. They're interesting. Uh, I don't know if they're like incredible boss fights, but they're definitely better. So. Give this people air. I could have sworn it was like you know I you know I'm beginning to think that it's Chad. I'm beginning to think that you don't know where it is. And then you don't know where it is. Ah, oh, fuck. I was on the white side. I mean, yeah, you guys didn't know shit. Don't you're just pretending, okay? You Keep pretending you didn't know shit. Brannigan's love. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Dickle, thanks for the resub. Darth OSX, thank you for the 25 months. Thank you very much. I get one guy. I get one guy all day, every day on stream. All day, every day. Sonia. Bah. Bah. Come on, chew the can. Oh, Zelda. Bah. King Raru, before you face the Demon King tomorrow, there is something I must tell She's you. She's gonna fuck a goat. I'm gonna do it. I came, I came to this era after finding a man underground. Go on. You son of a bitch. What I witnessed with the secret stone. Seth Pack, thank you for the 15 months. At thank you moment, very much. I knew for sure. What we found underground, that was him. He was still alive, still powerful. He continues to live on all the way until my time. Come on, don't bullshit me. Battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. Uh -uh. And you, and you will. Vince, thank you for the three months. Thank you very much. Maybe so, but it is my duty to try. Uh -uh. It was my hubris that set us on this path. I must atone for my error in judgment. And above all else, I remain the King of Hyrule. As with any leader, it is my duty to safeguard and protect my people. Sheer Even if fucking I must hubris. Risk my life. <laughs> I'm thinking of the stupid skit from Saturday Night Live. Where it's Mark Wahlberg talks to animals. And if it proves impossible hey goat, for us to how's it going? Ganondorf, we rely on your knight. How are you, goat? Legendary how's it going? How are you living? Say so hi to your mother. Line of defense will be Link. The goat song. But remember, 
that was a future where you never appeared in this world. And you are here now. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. That was, uh, what's his name? It's not, it's not Adam Sandler. Andy Samberg? Andy Samberg is one of the fewer people who was actually kind of funny at some points. You son of a bitch. Uh, Alsbrog, thank you for the 60 months. The thank you very I much. I'm here. He has his moments. Roru's voice acting is the least worst. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I hate everybody's voice acting. I don't mind the goat's voice acting. I do wish he would occasionally go. <laughs> Just once. Come on, I feel, I'm Homer Simpson. Come on, chew the can. Come on. Uh, let's see. So there's still more regions here for us to check out. Zelda, I've got a bad feeling about this. Link, won't you save us? <laughs> oh no. Fucking dumb. The fuck do I go? I don't think his voice fits Ganondorf. I don't think his voice fits Ganondorf either. But I, don't, I think that that's not just the voice actor. I think that's like, I, I don't blame the voice actor. I blame the casting and the direction. Uh, it, I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'd be pretty okay if, if Zelda went back to having just text. I think I'd be okay with that, actually. I don't need voice acting in Zelda. Uh, Zelda's is terrible. Link! Link! Uh, Teddy B, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 35 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Teddy B. All right, so we have uh, two. There's a tower here, and there's a tower nearby to the west. Oh, man, there's just too much shit to do in this game. Oh, God. All right, uh, chat, I think it's time to save and call it there. That's a short, uh, about 13-hour stream. Uh, guys, I'm tired. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, finally, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I streamed so much. Uh, let's jump in. Let's do it. Jump back into the game. Did you play Breath of the Wild first? Probably, yeah. I should probably play Breath of the Wild before playing Tears of the Kingdom. If you didn't want to, like, I guess, like, I, I don't know if it's, like, a, a necessity if you wanted to play just one, but uh, you probably should play both. What if you weren't a big fan of Breath of the Wild? I mean, neither was I. I, I, uh... I liked Breath of the Wild. I was not a big fan of Breath of the Wild, but uh, this game is is much better, much better in my opinion. Uh, it makes Breath of the Wild seem like a tech demo. Like, hey, look at this cool tech. Now let's here's the actual game. All right, uh, Benny, thank you so much for the 31 months. Thank you very much, Benny. Appreciate it. Uh, alrighty, so uh, I guess we can probably head. I I wanted to go west. Continue heading west. Let's head south first and then continue west. You like my pants? <laughs> let me put my, uh, let me put this shit back on too. There we go. I light up pants. How's the addiction going? Ah, oh, I've been loving this game. Super fun. Wii U compatib compatibility held Breath of the Wild back. All right, here, here's, here's a larger point. So like that was Nintendo was kind of ahead of the curve in terms of that. What if backwards compatibility has hurt this entire fucking past like seven years of video gaming? And that goes for fucking God of War. Like it goes for like every game ever because these games are hamstrung before they even get released because while well, we can't do that, it has it has to be backwards compatible. This entire generation has probably been held back. So Nintendo's kind of... Nintendo was ahead of the curve in terms of making their games, you know, perform badly. <laughs> eight hours already today? No, I, I've been playing for eight minutes. <laughs> we just started. I only just started playing. 
It's like five plus years nowadays. Difficult to avoid. The, well, I, I think I, I I don't know for sure, but I think. Uh, hang on. Is it is not what started the whole this whole like let's make sure everything is backwards compatible. Is is it not started by the fact that this entire gen, uh, initially there were huge supply problems for getting consoles, uh, so like they're like okay, well let's make it backwards compatible, I guess. Because like the, uh, new PlayStations were not available. I, I guess I don't know what Nintendo's excuse would be because everybody had a Switch, right? Everybody, but the, the Switch sales were crazy, right? Maybe maybe that's the thing that only applies to the play, the PS5. I guess I don't Son know. Of a bitch. I mean, I'd I'd say Xbox, but I I can't think of a single game that's released exclusively for Xbox. So, but what a joke the Xbox is. Uh. Son of a bitch. Thank you very much, Mayor McCheese, for the 36 months. Randall Looch, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you very much. Son of a bitch. Clovis, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You son of a bitch. Bob Kelso, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you very much. You're saying it's backwards compatible in the sense of making new games on PS5, PS4, not making games playable on new hardware. I guess what I'm saying is that... But like to explain it more carefully because I it's early I, I I'm probably not speaking very well at the moment that Breath of the Wild was probably was not all like the switch hardware hasn't changed I'm assuming Nintendo has gotten better at optimizing and doing stuff but there's no reason why Tears of the Kingdom could like Breath of the Get Wild could not here. have been Tears of the Kingdom like there's no reason why that game had to be so hampered beyond the fact that it was designed for the Wii U and the Wii U was insanely less powerful than the Switch, right? So, like, it had to work on both consoles. Now, my point was that... What about every fucking PlayStation game that's been... Oh, PS4 and PS5. Like, what about all of those games? That's the same situation where it has to work on the previous gen and on the current gen, like, every single time. So, like, it's like this entire gen's been held back because they it has to be on both. So, it's like... The financial, the financial decision of making it work on older consoles has affected the quality of the games, is what I'm saying. So, PC wins. Oh. The whole PS5 generation seems shitty. Uh, Chrono Gears, thank you for the 64 months. Thank you very much. I love my PS5, but I gotta say that it seems like a glorified PlayStation 4 to me. There haven't been that many PS5 exclusives, so. Oh. Travelers have a duty to protect the beauty of nature and not sully it with trash. Want it to be cleaner. Uh, that's why I even travel the broom. Unfortunately, these tumbleweeds keep rolling in. Uh, the great tumbleweed purge. Come on, don't bullshit me. Uh, can I just burn them all? You're on your own. It's not a tumbleweed, like a faction of nature. Is that not nature? Uh, Torque Squirrel, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you very much. I don't think you have to clean up nature. I think it's nature. Was Returnal? No, Returnal was an exclusive, uh, exclusive PS5, actually. Although now it's on PC, so. <laughs> uh, thank you, Torch Scroll. Appreciate that. Tumbleweed lives matter. Tumbleweed is weird, right? It's not, isn't tumbleweed like the, the rolling of tumbleweed? Is, is that not how it like germinates or something? Or am I wrong on that? I might be wrong. There are per pervasive species that's a problem. Really? I, I, I guess I don't know that much about tumbleweed. Interesting. Nature, you fascinating. Okay, so west. My god, man, what a fucking explosion. <laughs> Ice Breath Lizalfo's horn. A boomerang. I haven't really fucked with the boomer. I haven't really fucked with the boomerang in this game. God damn it. Spiders in some deserts that roll like tumbleweeds, really? Yeah. Uh, I think you Torque Squirrel, appreciate it. Looks like it doesn't look it looks more like cabbage to me. Like cabbage. 
I'd rather not find me the game also sucks ass. All the NPCs never shut up in the four spoilers and climb a wall for 50 hours so characters can talk to you. Yeah. I've I've also got I've got issues with Ragnarok as well. I mean, obviously. Hmm? Those legs. You like my pants? I got hammer pants. Ah. Fire breath Lizalfo's horn. Okay. Sure, sure. Take all this. Some poo poo weapons. A burning tumbleweed. Okay. Well, the mouse was just an after image of the fused material. Yeah, I, I guess it's like that because they w they wanted to actually still look like the Master Sword, I guess, right? I wonder what's going to happen if, it, if the Master Sword breaks, if it's going to recharge again. I assume it will, right? You have the PS5 haptics on the Borderlands 3. Even fighting the temples, more like traditional Zelda dungeons than Breath of the Wild. Yeah, they're kind of a uh, they're kind of a midway point between like a, a Zelda dungeon and uh, the uh, Divine Beasts. They're not quite either. I like them. Ah, uh, uh, see now it's fucking hot. I got I got dude. I can't do anything about this shit. Uh, what the fuck am I gonna do? Okay, there we go. I think, uh, do I have a cold weapon? I do. There we go. South Lome Labyrinth. No well, time to get lost in this motherfucker again. Last time I did a labyrinth, it was kind of crazy. Take a chill pill. Do not take off the hammer pants, whatever you do. Ah, uh, is this the, they leave the acorn around again? Is that what they did? Uh, according to Toro, the car characters carved in the stone slab breeds follow the dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it and you shall receive. Okay, so kind of the same thing. And uh, he also led, it left acorns all around again, huh? All right, gotcha. Follow the poo poo. Should have had an MC Hammer NPC. 40 hours and you say this is easily a 60 hour game. Oh man, this is a, this is a huge game. Huge game. All depends on what it is you want to do. Uh, if you rush the end content, you could probably beat it way faster. Uh, we're not talking about speed running, obviously. We're talking about like, you know, just playing the game. What's up, the boy? How are you? Did I have a good night's sleep? I did. Yeah, I did. I think I had Zelda dreams, though. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think I dreamed about Zelda. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you play a game for like 40 hours in like three days or whatever. Uh, okay. Give this people air. Uh, get with it. Thank you for the 17 months. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, I uploaded a, a new emote for you guys. Uh, it's a courtesy of Dangle. You guys have access. It's a Barb D. Feel free to use it. There you go. The next time we encounter a Korok. <laughs> and slap that bitch to a rocket. Although, I think I, uh, I think I used all my rockets. I'm thinking I'm out of rockets. Too many Koroks. Honestly, strapping a rocket to a Korok isn't so bad compared to like crucifying them or or barbecuing them. Like honestly, that's not so bad. I seem relatively mild by comparison. <laughs> the 
The Korok war crimes are amazing. We have here. No matter how far I go or which way I turn, everything looks the same. It's all covered in energy sapping gloom. I've managed to swallow my overwhelming desire to run home and will attempt to spend the night here. Just hope I have enough acorns. Okay. Kurok Rotisserie Grill you saw was amazing. Uh, what is this armor? It's a phantom armor. It's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty strong and it gives me an attack boost. So kind of hard to top that. Um... I kind of just want to look around this corner to see what I'm supposed to do here. Thick boy armor. You know this music? Yeah, right? Is it a maze item? The armor? Uh, I, I, I don't think this is going to work, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I got this item from a random hole in the ground, and I fought a phantom Ganon in that random hole, and I think this is what I got. Uh. Hmm. Are you going to complete all the shrines? I'd like to do all the shrines. We'll, we'll see. I don't know how many shrines that is. I, I'd like to. We'll see. Figuring out when you'll have time to play it. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, here we go. Ah. else here down here day four i can't believe i'm writing this but i'm standing in front of ancient zonai ruins what a what a discovery this makes uh this makes the terror and uncertainty of getting here completely worth it it's a shame for me that i have no idea what these ruins are but i'll head back and report to people who might looks like uh an evil pit And South Lome Chasm. Okay, let's go in here first. No, there's no way to get rid of that stuff. Matsusis. Your seal palace playthrough has been great for sleep. Very chill. Ugh. God, that fucking playthrough. <laughs> it was cool to play an Ocarina of Time ROM hack, but that ROM hack was a bit rough. Only about five hours into the game, it seems massive. It's, I'm like, f f what, how many hours am I in? 40 hours or whatever? It is massive. This game is fucking huge. It is gigantic. Tremendous game. Matsusis. This game is no fucking joke. Give this people air. Uh, EkMX, thank you for the eight months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. It's worth the money. It's like seventy dollars. I mean, uh, it's up to you, but uh, I would say I, I have like I'm I'm not regretting it at all. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely much more dense, more full than Breath of the Wild. No question about that. That is absolutely the case. Like twenty hours, only got one major dungeon done. Right, go hit this. I kind of down to drop down the caverns if you can from here. Yeah, you probably can. Ruler of Boars have unlocked a door. Find it on the north side of the labyrinth in the sky. Man. I don't think I have a great way to make it up here, though. Um, hmm. 
me uh, do this. I don't think I have a great way to do that. I think I've used most of my rockets. I think I've used most of them. Actually, could I, um... Try this. This lot of your Zelda playthrough so far. I already built a car. What's the craziest thing you've put together and powered with all the new fusion abilities? Uh, I've made variety of cars, vehicles, hovercrafts, planes, rockets, you name it. Uh, now, let's see. What do we have here in terms of flying up? I feel like I never have good luck with the balloons. Never really have great luck with those. I also don't have, uh... I feel like the wing is probably not... I can drop a wing and, and try to do this. I feel like that's Son also not going to work. What's my best way to get up there? Uh, just a simple banana. Thank you for the resub. Smidley, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Now, if I were to go like here, maybe, and over there, I need, you know, I need more stuff. I guess we're going to wait on this. I could try to fly up there. I'm going to spend like all my fucking fans and shit trying to get up here. Uh, can you strap a rocket? Yeah, I mean, you can use a rocket, but I don't really have any rockets at the moment. I think I use them all. Rockets are like the most valuable thing in the game, in my experience. <laughs> I don't have any. I mean, I have to make an attempt, right? I have to try. Hang on. I know rockets are super valuable. I'm out of rockets. I use them all on Koroks and shit, right? Damn it. Damn it. You son of a bitch. Great aim. Uh, Valentine, thank you so much for the 16 months. Thank you very much. I understand you got to stay away. Totally get it. Solid aim on that. It's really high. It's really, really high. I wonder which of the... Uh, which of the dispensaries has the most rockets? I, I, I wonder which one. I don't I also don't have a platform like to like I have to stand on something too like I don't have a box or I have one like wheel thing I can use those things aren't great for it either just fly up I don't see the problem I mean I, I'm I'm not thinking I'm gonna make it like look at how fucking high I have to go dude I don't think we're gonna make that <laughs> we're not gonna make that shit <laughs> like straight up we're not gonna make it especially without rockets and shit Stick a bunch of carts together. Hot air balloons. I, I don't have I don't have great luck with hot air balloons in this game. We'll come back to that later. Uh what's up, Mori? I'm just gonna spend I'm gonna spend an hour, spend all my resources and not make it up is what I expect to happen there. <laughs> What shrine region do you suggest starting from? Professor Oblivion, I think you should not use any kinds of guides or ask streamers or follow anything. I think you should just figure it out yourself. Have your own adventure. And that's going to be your best bet. Do your own thing. Build a mega log. Part of the great part about this game is that everybody's playthrough can be so different. Everybody can do a completely different thing. Oh, you know, how do you fight a fucking Molduga in this game? Because uh, bombs aren't going to work the same. How do you even, how do you even fight these fuckers in this game? I have no idea. How did you fill up your stamina wheel? What do you mean? I have no idea how you fight them in this game. <laughs> I have no clue. 
a bomb arrow. Well, usually what happens is Mulduga's under the ground and he chases after something rolling. So like, can you attach? You can't really roll a bomb, right? I don't know. I'm not sure how to do that. Or use the Giga Chad light beam on Mulduga. This is true. Uh, I don't think I have the beam. Moving the spheres. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> sure. Fondle the balls. Is this a, uh... Secret? On the secret. The music for this one? Five bomb flowers. Thank you. Always useful to have bombs. Okay. Everything I see reminds me of her. <laughs> hmm. Uh... Damn you. If I just have these like straight, we could hang on. You probably just like do this, right? All right, there we go. <laughs> That's how I'm doing it. Place the point at the top. Your balls aren't straight enough. This can show you how Barb's brain works. I haven't seen it one single tear this entire time, let alone one from the kingdom. Do you think this game is just a big ad for Polybridge 3? Maybe. I played those balls very, I have some experience with balls. Straight balling. Uh, Colonada, Valentine, thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Now we're unbearable cold. Unbearable heat, unbearable cold. Uh, all right, where's my warm pants? There you go. Oh, boy. And then I got separated. Okay. I haven't even used the uh, sled. I haven't used this shit at all. All right, strap in, you little bastard. Uh, oh, God. Jeez. Yeah. 
I have a me up. Do I have anything that's gonna roll? <laughs> Shock fruit. This fucker's kicking my ass. I legit don't know how to fight this guy without bombs. Like, no bullshit. I have no idea. Like, what, what do you do? In the previous game, all I knew what to do is make him eat the bomb and then hit him. I, I, I have no idea what to do in this game. I have no idea what to do in this game. I, what do you do? He fucking runs at you and it's I can't avoid any attack. How do you fight this guy in this game? No idea. If you throw a bomb, it's gonna explode when it hits the ground instantly. Just drop a bomb? I maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Um, we can't deal. I guess we're gonna have to kill the Molduga because I can't deal with the the uh I can't drive the Karak around. Uh I don't know if you drop a bomb. Uh, we're freezing again. I don't know if you drop a bomb, it rolls. I'm not sure. This is one way to find out. I, I, uh, well, that worked. Get to hit like the underside. Well, uh, how was I? I'm, I, how was I doing so much more damage like a moment ago? Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know how you fucking fight this guy in this game. Wrong weapons. Seems like arrows are good. Uh, Oh, I'm using the fucking I'm using like the shittiest weapon ever. That's why I'm doing no damage. Why am I doing no damage? Fucking boy. Boy oh fucking boy, I don't like these things. Boy oh fucking boy, I hate these things. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> Christ. Well, I guess uh what did you expect when you're running around? What do you mean when I'm running around? I'm I'm trying to live. What do you mean when I'm oh dude, what do you expect? You're running around. Oh, let me stand still, fucking idiot. What do you what do you think I can do? <laughs> uh let's put this on. Yeah, if I stand still, that's gonna work. Stop trying to live. When he's above ground, I think he sees you no matter what. I think. Give this people air. It's the tremors. I think when he's above ground, he tracks you no matter what, I think. Use the right weapon, you kill him fairly quickly. 
That's some good damage. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize I was using my fucking sapphire sword at first. I was doing like, man, where's my, where's all my damage at? I think when he's above ground, I think he sees you no matter what. A Molduga jaw, 32 attack power, not bad. Don't bitch at the game. I'm not bitching, I'm just saying that it's a Shut the fuck up, okay? Hang on. All right. Let, we're going to say goodbye to you. I never liked you. I don't. You're out of here. I'm not bitching at the game. I'm saying I don't know what to do. I figured it out. I got it. You're gone. Goodbye. See ya. Hate this shit where I'm just talking. I'm streaming and it's like, dude, stop bitching. It's like, I'm just fucking playing the game, asshole. I'm, I'm way too forgiving for some of you people. Way too forgiving. I've been around since Friday afternoon. How are you liking things? Oh, I'm loving this game. Really good. You guys like to pretend like I'm somehow angry when I'm not. Like, I'm not angry. How long does it take for the master to recharge? I've got no idea. No clue. I'm way too fucking forgiving sometimes. Is it not having emotions? Are you gonna make a YouTube video filleting this game? Probably not. I wasn't planning on any fellatio today. Uh, unless, unless my wife wants to, maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll see that. No plans for fellatio today. Ah, uh, what's up, Drew? Man, don't bullshit me. Uh, EMP please. Thanks for the resub. Light Tom, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Otherwise, no fellatio plans. Uh, where's my sword? Oh, did it, did it run out? Oh, I guess it just ran out of energy, huh? When did I fucking get this shit anyway? You want a third? <laughs> Today, chat learns biology. <laughs> Have you ever considered you might be a deeply stupid human being, Anthony? Like, fundamentally very stupid. I'm like so many levels. <laughs> the, the stupidity of that statement has so many levels to it. Uh, what happens if you attach a spring to a shield and shield surf? You go boing. You might be like a really deeply stupid human being. I was merely pretending to be stupid. Might be stupid, but Come it's on. funny. No, Don't I think it's just stupid, me. actually. Uh, Gziko, thank you for the 12 months. EMP please, thank you for the resub. You're definitely like a lot less clear how to fight Molduga in this game. I guess you can just bait him by throwing anything on the ground when he when he's searching and then hit him when he comes up, I guess, as opposed to doing the bomb thing. Oh, shit. Is this like quick... What is this? Ah. Ooh, quicksand? Ah, that's new. Slow sand. Oh, I forgot about the Karak. I'm like, could have used recall on the rocks to gain height for archery. That's not really how it works. If it hasn't been in the air like recently, you can't you can't get it. Is this like kind of giant air drift here? Cartoons made quicksand seem like an everyday occurrence. Yeah, it kind of did, right? Whoa. Whoa. 
Uh, where am I? Where am I and how many Moldugas am I going to have to fight? <laughs> Also, are they going to let me into Gerudo Town? Are they going to be like, filthy man? Uh, ow. Yes, God, yes. Do I need to be under attack constantly? Leave me alone for five seconds. I live under constant attack. What the fuck are you? Whoa, like... Bug enemies? What is this shit? Hey, oh, Gibdo. Oh, what were Gibdos? Weren't Gibdos the uh, mummies from uh, Zelda? Were they the mummy enemies? Yeah, yeah. Now they're like uh, Gibdo Bane. Attached to weapon that greatly increases attack power. It breaks easily due to odd shape, but it has 40 fucking attack power, so. God, whenever I fucking kill these bitches, it's always like I'm never far away enough. Where's Nami should have told you where they are? Well, if I had my companions, I'd have an entire fucking, like, three people following me all the time. Uh, thank God. God, you, that's like, it's like a super must to turn that shit off. Like, mega, you gotta turn that shit off, man. How far in am I? Uh, I've done three temples. And, uh, I've seen a good portion of the map. I can show you, but... Where are the idiots getting in the way? Uh, evolutionary, I turned them all off. Turn them off. Here's uh, here's my map so far. Here's my map. There's, there's so much still left to do. It's crazy. Hmm? Uh, I like how they block your camera and shooting you when you turn on them sometimes. Is the map smaller, what, than it is in Breath of the Wild? No. Also, there's the sky area, which is another area of the map, and there's an underground area, which is fucking tremendous. The map is huge, dude. Huge. Uh, I also have the flame emitter club. I could probably ditch something. Yeah, it's a huge fucking map. Uh, I guess I'll stick with what I have. Give this people air. <laughs> Uh, Lion Tamer, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you very much. You son of a bitch. Oh, I see. Um. Hmm. Oh, I thought I saw. Maybe I didn't. Kinda looks like I have to, hang on, let me grab this. Rumham, thank you for the resub. Obligatory, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, baby. <laughs> the fuck is my goal here? <laughs> what is What is my goal? 
Uh... Really sure what I'm trying to do. Uh, light something on fire. Oh, I found something. I'm assuming we're lighting something on fire. Uh, obligatory thanks, Teresa. Mo Fugga. Thank you for the 22 months. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, durability. I, I I have so many of these Son bows of at this point. Uh, I'm. I guess I'll keep the Demon King bow. I've got the triple bow. I guess I'll just not take it. What's that? All right, we're gonna have to figure our way back up here, right? Oh, uh, right. Ascend. <laughs> uh, Rumham, thanks for 39 months. Thank you very much. So it looks like I can't grab this. Can I grab this? Can't grab that either. It looks as though you take the fire and it goes in like so. I don't really understand what this wants me to do. What the hell does this want me to do? In a square hole. Can't grab any of those. Hmm. As I end up with twins. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Good one, man. Huh. So pressing this switch. That is, does this, oh, this doesn't open the door though, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, well, fuck. Okay, Master Sword's power is back. So that extends these. Okay, got you. I didn't, I didn't notice that it was extending those previously. Okay, so. The best way to do this. Rewind. <laughs> well, I had the right idea, though. <laughs> Almost. And it got stuck. Right idea. Bad execution. Light the thing. Oh, oh, I guess, I guess I did light that one, huh? All right. Cool. That was neat. Rewind solves a lot in these shrines. Why? Well, it's it's always a question of I I don't know exactly when the line is drawn by the game of like. You should use re like rewind is cheese or rewind is intended. I don't, I think rewind was very much intended here, but hard to tell. You could have put the fire thingy on the button. And I, I guess I could have shot fire arrows up at the torches. I think the rewind was the solution here though, but yeah, I mean, 
Really, like however you want to do it, right? Yeah, everything is intended. Everything is cheese. Right, right. I think I think you're right. Uh, the air has become very hot. Uh, yes, but I have an ice sword. That doesn't help. Fuck. I have no cold weather. I have no cold weather anything. So this is where we are. And... I don't know where we're going. Well, it looks like we're going to burn for a while. Take off armor. No, that doesn't help. You have to have, like, you have to have protective stuff. Asshole. Well, I see lights in the distance. If I, I have some stuff, I could probably cook something that would be, uh, quickly cook something that could be resistant. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, sure. Those are supposed to be redeads. Uh, it says that they're Gibdos. Okay, well, we're no longer burning. Gibdos, apparently. Fruit, okay. Yeah, flame resist is not heat resist according to this game. Oh, is this uh are we in Gerudo Town? Is Gerudo Town like fucking destroyed? Ah, it looks like it's fucking destroyed here, huh? Abandoned, destroyed. Okay. Gerudo Spear. Yeah, shit ain't looking so good here, huh? Uh, what do we got? But I, I want to do the ball. Oh, I guess it doesn't let you use the ball. Uh, the ball is probably for a puzzle now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> Son of a that's, bitch. that's probably for a puzzle or something. You might guess. The master sword is back. Yes, we do have the master sword right here. Uh, is that a? See a person? Uh, Super Uno. Thank you for the fourteen months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, dude. You son of a bitch. I see a cave right in here. Was it difficult to get the Master Sword? Uh, it's a little difficult, yeah. It's different from the previous game. Hang on one second, let me fix something. Uh, Bonsai Bill, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much, appreciate that. Hope you guys, Monday is going good. There you go. 
Hey, what? Do mm. you're just another uh, real living person. I was certain one of the ghosts haunting this place had come for me. Travel that day to meet the wonderful, amazing Garuda woman who lived here, but there's no one. Do you sometimes hear voices coming out from the wells? Uh. Obviously, the place is now haunted by the restless spirits of the beautiful Garuda who were slain by the strange monsters. If I'm not careful, the same monsters might get me too. All right. Interesting, interesting. Please to the front desk. All right, down we go. Son of a bitch. Uh, I think I have a hammer, right? Uh, Scargon, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Beautiful and Gerudo in the same line. You don't like, dude, maybe you guys think maybe Thickums the Gerudo is here? Come on. Don't bullshit. Oh, maybe Thickums is here somewhere. You can only hope so. Oh, I hate to use it, but. How many bombs do I have? I have lots of bombs now. I should go buy more bombs. Uh, Can Australia, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Wait, is there. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's a tad bit close for my taste. Shaboom. Shaboom. Keep her name out your goddamn mouth. This is where we came in at. <laughs> what was the point? There's surely there was a point here, right? Uh, maybe I can ascend somewhere different here. What do we got? Who keeps burying all these claymores? I don't know. It's about the journey. What about uh, here? Sometimes the sewer is just full of uh, full of poo. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> Vo, but the door is blocked. How did you? Never mind. It's our rule not to pry into the business of our customers. You're welcome in our shop, no matter how you manage to make it inside. This is the Gerudo Secret Club. The only shop in town that sells clothing designed with a Vo in mind. Considering Vo aren't allowed in town, it's sure, uh, I'm sure you can understand why the shop is a secret. Okay, cool. So we found a uh, man a man store. You son of a bitch. Uh, Zolkamir, thank you for the seven months. Thank you very much. Bloody Raw, thank you for the tier two resub. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Heat resistance. Sick man, shit's expensive. Really expensive. Snow boots and sand boots. I think we should probably buy uh, the heat resistant pants. Sava, sava. Oh. Okay. God damn, expensive oh. as fuck. You son of a bitch. Looking good though. Uh, in a wild place. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 14 months. Thank you very much. Uh, buy from me. Okay. What do you got? Uh, in a wild place. Thanks so much. Zokamir, thanks for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, what do I have to sell? I feel like rupees are harder to come by in this game. Uh, all right, let's sell. I'm, I could I could possibly need these, but let's sell all my all my rubies. <laughs> I will sell my sapphire. <laughs> Did I really only have one topaz? Uh, what else do we have? 
All of them. Did I ever figure out what pose were for? Yes, I did. I think I want to hang on to the luminous stones for now. Uh, I've also got diamonds. Coke of the Critter to make a powerful elixir. I'm going to sell uh, this, the Gleok Guts. I can always kill more Gleoks. As, pain, as annoying as that could possibly be. We can always get more. Hopefully the uh, resistance, uh, the heat resistance we have is enough. Hopefully that's enough. Here's hoping. Molduga guts. We just got these. Uh, in value of ingredient, it's hard to come by. Its use is shrouded in mystery. So I, we don't know what this does and it's shrouded in mystery. Okay, I guess we'll stick with that. What is this place? Oh. Plus clothing, uh, we make it a rule not to pry, but that rule goes both ways. Please don't ask anything about our shop. Okay. Oh. Up we go. 100 more for the armor. So there's probably something else. There's probably something else in the sewer too. Let's go back in. It's a message in a bottle? The fuck? It's you at long last. You, the Vo, reading this letter, are the Vo I was fated to meet, and I am the Vi you were destined for. You must hurry and rescue me. I'm locked in the outside world. Then don't worry, though. I'll send all my love to you until you come and find me. Stay safe and know we will meet soon. It is our destiny, after all. you at long last <laughs> a lot of these uh same messages in a bottle you know you know what this make this uh running river shit reminds me of that puzzle i think it's a puzzle in god of war 2 where you have to put the corpse in the water and it floats around to like hit a switch you gotta like pick up and heave the body over it i don't know why it makes me think of that <laughs> these nigerian princes you knew I was going to say that? Yeah, yeah, that's, that was, that puzzle's so weirdly out of place in the rest of the game. It's a weird puzzle. Uh, can I ascend up through this? I think that was God of War 2, I think. Could be God of War 1. I think it was 2, though. Look where the bottles came from upstream. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, Wash Benzin. What would I do without your insightful help? Man, I'd just be lost forever in this game. I would have no idea what to do without your help. If you have any other more insightful ideas, please share them. I would love to hear them. Master Sword. Oh, these... So these guys are actually uh, strong against... Uh, you need fire to kill the Giddos? Interesting. Uh, I have a ruby sword. Is it that you have to, like, melt the exterior to hit them? Is that what you gotta do? That's how, uh, I guess that's kind of, that was that how Gibdos were in Ocarina of Time? You had to uh, melt their bandages and, th and then they become re-deads or something. But that's, no, that's more linked to the past, right? The same link, that's more linked to the past. Same as yours, they become re-dead, right, right. Hmm. Can I uh, climb the rope? It looks like no. Huh? Fire on a length of the pass, one shot most enemies. No. A vo, there's a vo here. Stop him. Really? 
What if they throw you in jail like Ocarina of Time? Huh? You Vo are not permitted to be here. You must leave at once. Oh. Hold on. Boliara. Where thickums? It has been some time, swordsman. It's all right. This one's chief. Pro uh, this one has the chief's permission to enter, and he is welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. For you to come all this way and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. Mm -hmm. Princess of Hyrule is still missing. We have heard the events at Hyrule Castle, but this things are dire indeed. Still, swordsman. I mean, Link. I'm impressed you made it here through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. Mm. Sand Shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent our patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but a swarm of monsters, creatures called Gibdos, suddenly appeared attacking our troops and forced us to retreat. Made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to this shelter for their safety. Someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town was ashamed at our current situation. Though I wish I could help you uh, search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry. Mm. Lady Riju is currently training. She's trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you're hoping to speak with her, you should visit the ruins to the north. Ooh. The chop there, huh? What is this stuff? A ruby circlet with a cold resistance. A sapphire circlet with heat. And amber earrings. Okay. They harness the power of the land to increase defense. Interesting. What is the best Zelda game? I mean, that's always going to come down to preference. Like, it's, I think a better question is what is your favorite Zelda game? So, it's pretty much always going to come down to what your personal preference is, right? If they throw you in jail, they take off your clothes. I'll throw me in jail. Uh, let's grab a heart. Sure. Ready for a new investigation? Gerudo Town infiltrated. I mean, I fucking helped these people in the last game. You think they'd fucking let me walk around? The weird Kogeko one. Which one do I like the best? Uh, Ocarina of Time is probably my favorite. Um, there's definitely some nostalgia built into that for sure. Oh, you're the special Vo. My name is Ashai. I'm charged of Vo and you class of the Gerudo. Have you heard, uh, have you had, have you set your heart on someone special? I have. <laughs> have you met Thickums? Most Vi value honesty in a Vo. That's a good trait for you to have. <laughs> Welcome to sit in on a lesson if you're interested. Vo are normally allowed to be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Come by in the evening. The daytime class for the younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet a Vo. Uh, okay. Are they like training on how to meet? Look at they like training on how to meet men. <laughs> snoo snoo class. What well, is 8 p.m.? Is this not evening? Uh, Kalofi, thank you for the tier three, 27 months. Thank you very much. Zomiz, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hmm. Mm. Gee, maybe I should go after her, but I'm just attended to uh, to Patricia. Be acting against her wishes. Patricia? Oh. Kine, thank you for five gift subs. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Gerudo can no dunk, but good fundamentals. Northern Ruins. Oh. Uh, thank you very much, Kine. Thank you, Kalofi, for the tier three. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, so it looks like they kind of want me to go north. Is there anything else to see here? I kind of wish I'd gotten that tower, but I guess maybe the point is that you're not supposed to get the tower. I think 8 p.m. is post-evening as opposed to pre-evening. Pre-evening. Anything else to do here?
They're like these next gen CrossFit ladies. Oh, hang on. Let's see the vote everyone's talking about. Are you are Hylian interested in uh are Hylian vote interested in archaeology? I'm surprised you learned that I'm an archaeologist as well. After much work, I have finally deciphered these stelae. Do you want to hear what's written on them? Sure. If you insist. First up, the seal over here and says, the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their secret will be expressed on six stelae. As for the steel over there on the right says, the seven heroines protect the Gerudo and eighth channels and guides the powers of those seven. I doubt you know this being a Hylian vote, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. They're said to have protected and guided their people in times past. Unfortunately, I have found little in the way of documentation about the heroes themselves. So I'm arguing for revering all seven as a collective and others for worshiping each as an individual. Certain rabble rousing contrarians even claim there were not seven, but one or eight. There's one thing scholars love it is arguing with each other. Oh. These definitely support the theory of eight. Okay. Eh? Incredible discovery. Thank you, babe. I could stop here and, write, and say that I changed the face of archaeology, but if I found the other four stelae, who knows what else I might learn about the heroines. I wonder too about this orb that I found. Oh my god. I have not been able to find any steely besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, they must be underground somewhere. A picture. Okay, so like take a picture of these maybe? Every conversation in this game goes on way too fucking long. Way too fucking long. Uh. Can you put this in there? It's like the characters repeat themselves like crazy. What do you think you're doing? If I unlock this mystery, I don't want anyone to touch it. I was going to put it in the cannon. <laughs> I guess not. I love game dialogue. I don't mind it, but like the characters just repeat themselves so much. It's like, oh my God, let's move it along. Okay, well, I guess we're going to head north. A man? Must be the man. I mean, Vo, that's everyone talking. It's so unusual to see a man here. You really did get special permission. We wind up thrown out in jail. That's what normally happens when men come here. Was that Thickums? Uh -huh. Like, what happened to that guy over there? <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. You absolutely have to try the spa plan. Roma has a special technique that is all the rage. Me. I work here as an assistant. A spa plan that Olu ha offers is reasonably priced. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Save that one for later. Uh, Mexican toboggan. Thank you for the 33 months. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. This is the jail. Even though you have special permission, I still won't let you pass this point. Break our rules. Not allowed inside our town. The one in jail rule uh, broke their rules, so he's locked up. Even though you have permission to be here, if you break the rules, you'll join him in jail. Uh, oh, this is where we... Shit, this is where we came from. Those thighs have mass. <laughs> uh, all right, was it somewhere? Oh. oh, hey, it's the ball here, huh? You know that vote has been locked up in jail? The one that used to be the sand shroud, the sneak into town? I wanted to grab something from that shelf over there, and while I was standing there, I swear I heard someone say Ocklet. This is the name of Perda's Vevi. Oh. The the jail is just on the other side of that wall, the wall behind the shelf. Mm. Maybe it's Perda's husband locked up in there. Oh. Uh, didn't the guards mention they'd seen a Vo wandering around outside of town? Mm. That has to be who it is. Including me. Okay, then. We're avoiding eye contact. Why do I have a feeling if I break these pots, I'm going to end up in jail? Oh, I guess let's find out. 
<laughs> I'm gonna end up in jail. No? Save first? Wow, well, we're fine. Can I ascend here? Oh, well, we, we broke into jail. Uh, hey, man. How long have you been in here? I've seen you walking around out there. I don't understand you're a man, but they'll let you just come and go whenever you like. It's no secret that Gerudo rightly enforced their law that forbids men from entering the town. How can we just be able to uh, walk around without causing a fuss? I mean, I barely crossed the threshold between town and desert. They threw me in jail fast, and I could say, no, wait, not jail. They didn't give me a chance to explain anything at all. I want to see the faces of my wife, Perda, and our daughter, Ocklet. But, and I'm only telling you this because you seem like a trustworthy sort. I'm actually seeing my daughter a few times, so on average, I'm more happy than upset. Even though they have me in this jail, I've seen her occasionally. However, I haven't seen my wife even once. She was planning to work at a clothing store in Gerudo Town, but that's all I've got. My daughter could tell me more, but I haven't been able to talk to her yet. Um. No. What? How'd you get in there? Not a place for visitors. Only prisoners are supposed to be in there. You're the chief's guest. Get out of there before anyone sees you. Come on. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have a wife. He's lying. I was thinking that his his wife is the woman working the man store, the the man clothing store. Eh? The snoo snoo town. What's up, Ringo? Uh. All right. Where was that place where it was like go north? Where was that at? I don't remember. That's the jail. It was like the cave continued. I'm, I'm trying to find it. Where could she be? Could who be? Where did the owner? Oh, you're the chief's guest? So this is a Vo. His ears look to be about in the circumference. Interesting. For the first Vo I've ever seen, I get a little carried away figuring out your measurement. Because I make accessories and they fit, uh, make the perfect fit. Yep. 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 The missing owner. Okay. I'm gonna link at the power to talk. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Is it this? Uh, I think it might be this way. Aha, here we go. Discovery Valley of Silent Statues. How? Oh, okay, so the quicksand is gonna swallow you here. Interesting, interesting. Is this the red light district? Roxanne! Soldiers Claymore. I suppose they, yeah, it's like twi it's Twilight Princess quicksand. Yeah, exactly. I'll take this stuff. And let's see, got a chest here too. Boss fight. Do I have the sages turn off? I turn the sages off. I don't like them. I don't like that it's a fucking crowd of people following me. I don't I don't like that. Okay. Yeah, I don't like a gigantic fucking crowd of douchebags following me at all times. It's fucking it's annoying. I don't like it. They go away. I feel like that's the one thing that I feel like Breath of the Wild was better about. Period. Breath of the Wild was much better about your abilities being useful without them being intrusive. Yeah, I don't want to walk around with my mariachi band. I'm good. They literally, like, they get in the way. They're, they're, they're just fucking annoying. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm grateful you can turn them off because I fucking hate them. I'm grateful for that. Huh. 
What do you keep on as a Ruto? Is that, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not saying they're not useful. What I'm saying is that they're fucking annoying. Two different things. They're certainly useful. I guess Sidon is perhaps the least useful. I would rather I would rather the game be more difficult and more inconvenient than have these fuckers around. Well, what's new about that? I'm back. I'm back. Had you on in the background. Oh, what's up, dude? Chad is a sage confirmed. Up we go. Up we go. It's okay, we get it, you're old. It's just like they're just functionally annoying because they're right behind you. They're right in your way all the time. Like, they're just annoying. <laughs> okay, I'm, if you're not annoyed by them, congratulations, I am. So at least they gave me the option to turn them off. I kind of wish that you gained their abilities without them having to literally follow you. So. Uh, can I hit this? Wasn't what they did in Breath of the Wild? That's exactly the way Breath of the Wild was, yes. It's the one thing I say I, I think is better in Breath of the Wild. Okay, what is this thing? I have no idea what this thing is. Uh, if I grab this and place this here... You son of a bitch! I, I don't know why, but I thought, like, is this going to fire a laser beam or something? <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was going to fire a laser beam or something. Uh, a Roman hero. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. An ice beam? Uh, anything over here? Oh, thank you, Roman Hero. Appreciate that. Arrows are good. Bombs are good. Was that, was that a part of a cooking pot? Maybe that's what it was. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, a diamond. Fucking hey, 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 sick. Okay, I want to see what is there. Uh, bingo on the deposit. Yeah, right. Really good shit. Games, uh, I don't want to say stingy, but money is probably more valuable because it's just kind of harder to get overall a little bit harder to get money in this game not to like a bad extent just like slightly harder uh we're gonna take that take this use this oh Okay, so where was that uh, thing? Oh. Oh. The fuck is this? Hmm. Well, if I move it. Oh. Cool.
Neat. I like that. There's another one over there. Now the question is, how do you get... Uh, the, there's one behind the wall. How do you get the one behind the wall? That's the real question, right? Right there. Oh, oh. Neat. Get out of here, frog bitch. You thought it was a cooking pot? Okay, so that was in there. Yeah, how do you get that one is the real question. Looks like there's an enemy or something behind that wall. Possibly a boss or something. Alright, what's in there? Now, if we had another one... This is cool. Uh, can you, uh, here, I, I kind of have an idea. I did fairly recently play Skyward Sword. Does this work? Okay, I thought this was gonna be like a Skyward Sword situation where, uh, <laughs> you could like blow it out of there. It is. It is a Skyward Sword. It is a it is a Skyward Sword situation. <laughs> oh man. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I can hit... I think maybe I can hit that from here. Gruce Bigelow. Thank you so much for the nine gift subs, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I keep uh, hitting the wrong thing here. Maybe it just, maybe it just can't reach. Hmm. Uh, let me try putting this here. Uh, Bruce Bigelow, thank you very much. The Gruce is loose. I don't think that's going to hit the other beam. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate the nine gift subs. Oof. Oh, well, it's also pointing the wrong way. <laughs> it's also pointing the wrong way. Can you glue it to the wall? If I use the spike, then yeah, I could. Um... It kind of looks like it's pointing at it. Let's see how forgiving it is. Uh, CJ Barb, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Uh, it's just much better to use this to use to do that. Okay, I'm gonna assume that it's that beam just isn't hitting. I'm gonna assume that. Look, it's too high. Uh, should we go to the other side? Seems like whatever side we put it on is going to be kind of rough here, huh? people air uh kingdom farts thank you for the resub thank you very much appreciate that
Son of a bitch. Uh There's got to be like a like a smart way to do this. Uh thank you very much uh Kingdom Farts really appreciate. It. There's got to be like a better way to do this. A third mirror? I don't think there's a third mirror. There we go. There we go. No intended ways, only barb ways. There. All right. What is behind this door? It looks like an enemy. Sure is. Ah, that's a lot of lightning. Uh, a royal bow. Uh, I suppose let's go drop, uh, let's drop that one, take that. Cool. You got the master sword? I did. You just did that the hardest possible way, and I appreciate that. Let's go drop my current shield and take this new one. All right, what do we have? Something good? Something good? Something good? Ah, that's not something good. Fuck. Damn it. Uh, out of curiosity, where do I go if I do this? Where does this take me? Can you fuse the lamp with your shield to make a mirror shield? Uh, that's a good point. We should try it. Holy shit. God damn. Uh, Addy, thank you so much for the... You, yes, you can. I have a mirror shield now. <laughs> yes, you can. Dude, I've got mirror shield. Let's go. Uh, Addy, thanks so much for 10,000 bits. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much, dude. I don't know how useful mirror shield is going to be. I can't believe that was so much work for a topaz. Thank you very much. Mirror shield, best shield. Now, it's not the screaming mirror shield of, uh, of Majora's Mask, but it'll have to do. Ah, uh, these guys again, huh? Uh, so is it just set him on fire? Is that enough? Okay, now that they've burned, Master Sword. Okay, yeah, once they burn, they're fine. Right. Cool. Oh, uh, what's up, Futak? Majora's had the best aesthetic. Oh man, I love Majora's Mask. This people ear. Uh, Senestar, thank you so much for the er, uh Senestar, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Uh, Icy Long John, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Chat, is there anything more maddening and frustrating when somebody's like, you're when you're not angry? 
and somebody's like, God, what are you so angry for? That's like the fastest way to get somebody angry. <laughs> it's like the fastest way. God, yeah. Oh, God, calm down. Fire. Calm down, God. That person is technically correct. Ha. Is this a uh, Riju? What's up, Riju? You have a drum on your back? It's a mirror shield we just made. Did she have voice acting in the last game? I don't remember if she did or not. It's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Riju, chief of the Gerudo. Skill issue. But then you always show up in unusual times. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you. Now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. I understand how you're feeling. Zelda's a dear friend to me as well. I would do everything in my power to help you. You could bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. The desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. Thanks to this unusual sand shroud appears around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle hmm. took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. Swarms of monsters we've never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They are slow, but they still make the, uh, investigating the Sand Shroud difficult. Yeah, I, I don't care for the voice acting in, in this game at all. Hmm. I'm practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning bolt well, it might be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. We can do that. We can investigate. Uh, maybe we should try shock against the Gibdos instead. Ooh. There we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. Aim for those dummies. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Aim instead for the area in the middle of all three, like around where the rock is jutting out. But keep in mind that the farther away a target is, the longer it will take for me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay. So wait, I have to like wait a while for you to get like super nuke. Yes. I'm getting the hang of it now. Barb is all the voice acting we need. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Oh, great. Uh, Thunder Bunny, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you very much. I know you're an Arnie fan, but having twins is a real commitment to the bit. As long as they don't come out looking like Danny DeVito. <laughs> Didn't sound like any noise the sand trend has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was Chief. Received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Boliar is already on their way there. Okay, understood. You need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Okay. Um, but where the fuck am I? <laughs> this 
So go back to Gerudo Town. What if they want you to warp or something? Well, they kind of pooped me out here. Which temple should you start with? Dark Colossus, you should play the game and you should not follow my advice or other people's advice. You should uh, do whatever seems right to you and enjoy yourself. So this is back in Gerudo Town here. And that's north, so we're going that way. Going that way. You're gonna have your best results if you do not follow a guide. <laughs> oh, I can't, uh, I can't uh, shield surf on this anymore. Uh, Churro, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Does this feel like an expansion? It feels like a sequel. Uh, thank you, Churro Penis. Appreciate it. Oh. I've been uh, long familiar with the concept of what a sequel is. I've been pretty, pretty aware of what sequels were for quite some time. Uh, thank you, Churro Penis. I've done so much out of order in every game, and it's a great way to handle it. Kara Kara Bazaar. They made another one that's good, not perfect. Oof. I played the Surge 2. I did play the Surge 2. I never played the Surge 1. It's the first time situation for a story for a Zelda game. Well, technically Majora's Mask is a direct sequel. Uh, technically Zelda 2 is a direct sequel to Zelda 1. Um, so Zelda's done that before. If help doesn't arrive soon. Sorry to keep everybody waiting. But I'm here now. We're going to wipe out all the Gibdos at once. Follow me. Link, don't let me down. All right. Those monsters stand no chance. She have a, she has an HP bar. Get your bow ready. Hey, bows and arrows ready to get them if you need. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I've got plenty of arrows. This almost feels like I'm playing Hyrule Warriors right now or something. Give those guts. <coughs> um. Is this, uh, is this supposed to be, like, challenging? Is this supposed to be hard? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Can we coming from there? I must have picked easy mode again. Give this people air. We need to destroy that somehow, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. You realize there's like three guys at a time. Uh, can I shoot a shock arrow at this? No. Can I ascend up here? No. Hmm. Not really sure what to do here. Uh son of a bitch. Can I climb this? 
So you can't climb it. And I can't do that. I feel like it's got to be like a lightning strike, right? It's got to be one of these abilities, surely. Shoot the pink thing. Yeah, I, I did that. Maybe it has to be glowing. But it's also being blocked by the top of it, is it not? Okay, it has to be glowing for you to be able to do that. I got you. Okay. I was just shooting too soon. Unbearable cold. Cut it down with an axe. It's a psychedelic mushroom. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Okay. Huh. Is that Zelda? God bless the Gerudo women and their cheese grater abs. I only have eyes for one Gerudo. I'm sorry. Bad. Real bad. Gerudo town is in danger. It's an F5. Zelda, wait! The big woman. I carry her photo with me everywhere. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Am I still enjoying the game? Yes, very much so. We're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. Okay. Everything reminds me of her. Hang on, what is it? Is it under your, is it under your album? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah, refresh! Ah, close the window, quick! Uh, I am cold. I was- I was researching! I was looking for clues. <laughs> Desert Rift. Yeesh. It's not what it looks like. I wonder what's in this desert rift. Are there people who don't know that deserts get very cold at night? Uh, I, as after streaming meets after streaming on Twitch for a long time, I've realized that there are people who don't know many, many, many things. <laughs> so yes, yes, that is that is definitely the case. Oil jar. Uh, where the hell is Gerudo Town? I lost it. Well, I don't know where Gerudo Town is. I did find a Korok, though. Uh, 
There you go. I may not be a smart man, but I know what love is. Uh, we must have like a lightning thing. There you go. Uh, a yellow choo choo, I think. So these guys are like super weak to lightning. Super, super weak to lightning, huh? Uh, let's climb back up. I may not be many things, but I have a deep understanding of, of ignorance. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Ooh, a spring. A spring and a rocket. All right, hang on. Where's my shield? Let's, uh, let's take this shield. Let's fuse this to my shield. And let's take another shield and let's fuse this to this shield. <laughs> Where's a Korok when you need one? Boost me up. So, Gerudo Town is... Oh, I'm right in front of it. <laughs> so, if I shoot this thing with a shock arrow, would that destroy it? And before Bob made Grandpa a three with ten tears... Of wow, Black Tie, really, what a great comment. So funny. God, I'm gonna remember that comment for the rest of my life. Such a good comment. The result might shock you. Hmm. Look, Link. Hmm. Both the hive and those tornadoes are reported to have shown up at the same time, too. It's not the only one one hive. There are three to deal with, each one just outside. We'll need a clairvoyant sand so no massive Gibdo attack oh. is coming. The hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. When they begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. Okay. Can you reverse 20 seconds and turn off webcam? Son of a bitch, Paul. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. Glad you're having fun, brother. Uh, cheers to you and the family. Extra cheers. Uh, Dr. Meme, thanks to 1,000 bits. You pop. Thank you for the 17 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. I thought it's nothing. <laughs> for now, we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town. We must prepare for battle. Okay. Prehistoric thickness. Uh, yep. We saw Zelda, but she hasn't been anywhere near. Uh, prepare to fight. Need your help again. Oh. You have questions about preparing for battle? What's the plan? Oh. Uh, talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her. Okay. Uh, Pot is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We can reinforce the defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Oh. Okay. So what's going on here? Hmm. Uh, mirrors, flame emitters, stakes. Ooh. I'll take all this. They're gonna be like, "Hey, you took our you took our defenses for the battle." <laughs> hey, we needed all those. You took them all. What'd you do that for asshole. Ah. Uh. We gather materials that I think might be useful in battle. Uh, feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I can build a barricade out of the gates. Uh. There are three gates. From the palace, the north gate is ahead, the west gate is left, and the east gate is right. I've got an idea for barricades. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set it up at? 
Uh, Eastgate. They kill you like the shopkeeper. Oh. Barricade's been set up at the Eastgate. It's just letting the enemy that attack from that position. This is interesting. They have a strange tower defense thing going on. Gerudo bow. Uh, Gerudo shield. What we got here? That's a shitty barricade. Is this going to be like grounded? I, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, God. Electric Lizalfo's horn. Uh, I could probably attach that to a weapon and uh, that'd be pretty good against the enemy, right? Yeah, they're really trying to push you to use elemental stuff here, aren't they? All right, let's see. Let's. Where's my electric Lizalfo's horn thing? There you go. Let's drop that and fuse that with the spear. There we go. Nice. Okay, and I guess we'll talk to this person here. Build the turrets to protect the power cords. It's going to be like Skyrim when you defend the town. Oh. Come on. Hi, the monster that appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long before we'll need to deal with this threat. How should you deploy your forces? Who should we send and where? Concentrate your force to protect a weakened oh. position. You decide who to send there. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Okay. Uh, spear troops. Oh. Westgate. Oh. Understood. They'll defend the Westgate. Oh. The sword troops. Oh. Uh, the Westgate. Ah. Okay, so they'll we'll stuff ah. infantry there. The cannoneer. Oh. Uh, let's put the cannoneer on the east gate. Oh. So defend the east gate. Uh, okay. So the north gate is undefended. I guess that's where I will go. I guess. And we'll see how that is. Mm. They are. Only link at the north gate. I don't know if Riju will be there too, but... These Voltrums are worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Blue Lion, thank you for 24 months. Sink Breath, thank you for 41 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Hmm. Here's about the voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm? hmm? Have you had any crashes so far? No, no crashes. In fact, I would say that Nintendo Switch games don't uh, crash much. Not compared to... I've had, I've had way more crashes on PlayStation, honestly. The new Grounded boss is absolute bullshit. I think everything in Grounded is absolute bullshit, dude. The, I, I'm a little bit worried about the East Gate there. Stay strong. This threat is an opportunity. Fight well, we can wipe them out in one, one battle. Let's show the, few, the true power of the Gerudo. Everyone, protect our chief, protect the town. Well, there goes my bow. Uh... So we gotta wait for this thing to start glowing before we can shoot it. Uh, is it vulnerable? Enemies are pouring out of the hive near the north gate too. Take them out. Yes, that hive is out of action. Okay. So let's go to the cannon side. 20% of this game is spent changing weapons. You're not really wrong. <laughs> you're not you're not wrong. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go to the other gate. Enemies have been spotted inside town. Did they break through the gate? The enemies won't stop coming until we wipe out all the hides. All right, game, calm down. That's the last of the hides. All we have to do now is clear out the rest of the enemies are nearing the center of town. Prepare for attack. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, you guys suck at defending her. Look, she's completely surrounded by you guys. She got fucking attacked. Y'all suck. Waifu! Uh... Oh. They have to make the enemies move like that? Oh, there we go. Are those redeads? They're Gibdos. It's pretty lame. Yeah, that was, it was interesting, but I don't know how really like, I, I feel like it was too easy for it to actually be like compelling. I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. Come on, don't bullshit me. Mm -hmm. The highest crumble to the sand. I wonder if the Gibdos has some kind of connection with the sand or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did they summon them? It's a little, uh, it's a little much of a joke. Yeah, even if you did nothing. It, yeah, it needed to actually be more of a thing. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Okay. Uh, Mr. Frog, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, where, how do we get underground again? Ah, this was it, right? Was brother was either too silly, too easy, or silly hard. There is kind of a it's a weird difficulty game because like you go along and there's like absolutely no threat for four hours, and then all of a sudden you run into something that's like, what the fuck is this? And it's annihilating you. It's it's a weird game sometimes. Uh, uneven difficulty that it'll go between completely trivial or holy shit, what the fuck is going on? And this difficulty is weird. Yeah, and then you suddenly run into King Gleok, right? Ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're in the underground shelter. Let's see. Ah, here we go. What am I supposed to even do there? Yeah, well, I mean, I, that's that I think is the game like strongly telling you like maybe come back to this later, you know? Hmm. It is thought to have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that they created it. They were also using the shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo, the distant past, were also beset by some great disaster. Hmm. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You can hear my voice come to me. I await you. Thor reminded me of this mural. Hmm. This image must be a, represent a location of some kind. The engraved words are a riddle. It's the only explanation. Not the red pillars. Uh, hang on. Let's go to the adventure log. So back up to the throne. Does this, if we ascend, where does this take me? Don't get red pillared. 
Mr. Frog, thanks so much for the reset. Appreciate it. Oh. Back to back with the throne. Oh, uh, let's see. This reminds me of how you get into the uh, the water dungeon, right? Kind of similar, this like puzzle. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone. I do wish I'd gotten the map here. I do wish I had that. I wonder, I wonder if you like can. Well, I see pillars. Uh, we can go towards the pillars. Pillar men. You didn't talk to her again? Ah, uh, dude, what if, what if the game's like, oh, you wanted to advance? Oh, sorry, you needed to talk to her again. Then she tells you what to do. <laughs> you know, uh, that would not fucking surprise me. Okay, so it says we're hot. I have pants. The pants enough? The pants are enough. Oh, let's continue following the light here. <laughs> you just have to find a tower. Legacy collection. Buy Link's legendary Ocarina of Time outfit for only nine ninety nine. Ugh. The uh, wind, the tornadoes here lifting you up out of the air. That's kind of a nice way to move around in the game in the desert compared to like, I don't know, sand, sand surfing is fun, but sometimes you can't always do it. It's kind of nice that they added these in so you can uh, more easily move about. Uh, apparently we are still in unbearable heat. There we go. Okay, we have... Uh, We have up here. They're hot pants. Why no plane? So now how would I get this to do something right here? I can't grab it, right? Hmm. I can't move it. Poop it, snoot. What are the, uh, the, the shooting it do anything? No, do anything. Uh, I guess I could continue going that way. The light almost seems like keep going this way. What's uh, what's over here? Oh. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go check out that pillar. It'll be like 30 minutes before I found the fucking crank. Oh, so you had a big skill issue, huh? That's a shame. It's a Triforce! We oui. 
So, did I have to come here? Like, are we actually, like, done? Or... These enemies are uh, not, as long as you have an elemental damage, they are not particularly threatening, are they? Uh, let's see. Uh, I am burning. No more burn. Is there uh, something up top? Uh, I guess you can't do that, huh? Uh, can I ascend? Thank you very much, uh, Craig the Ghost. Thank you for the 27 months. Appreciate that. I think there's something up top here. Can I get like a bit of a more of a boost? Yeah, there's something up top. Ah, there we go. Uh, thank you very much, Craig. What do we have here? Looks like another crank, uh, but I don't have anything to crank it. Now, if I look in my inventory, what do we have? I mean, I've got so many things here. Does this work for a crank? Okay. <laughs> they gave me so many fucking Gibdos bones. Why not? We need stick. You're so smart. Cheater? How is that a cheater? The cranks were under there. I made my own crank. Look, Gibdo bone right there, see? Okay, so we're going to the center. Any crankers? And crank these nuts. 